Yo, hello everyone! In 2023, enhance your Shopify store's payment options by connecting Afterpay. This step-by-step -step tutorial will guide you through the integration process of Afterpay to Shopify in 2023, allowing your customers to enjoy flexible and convenient payment options. So, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, starting by going to Shopify, as you can see, just by heading to Shopify.com, you will be able to open this page. Then normally you just have to log in to your account by clicking on to the login button and then just choose your account and choose your store. Now for this specific tutorial, we are going to use Afterpay. First of all, make sure that Afterpay is allowed in your store country. Just open a new tab and search Afterpay, available countries. And then you will find all the countries that accept Afterpay as a payment system. Let's go here. And as you can see, Afterpay Limited, abbreviated as Afterpay, is an Australian financial technology company best known for its buy now, pay later. It operates in Australia, the United Kingdom, Canada, and the United States, and New Zealand. So if your store isn't located in one of these countries, you should create a new one in one of these countries. So let's check with my website. So this is the store, start with it, and then let's go to the settings. After I open the settings, as you may notice, my business address is in the United States. So let's do that. So guys, now I'm going to the payments right through here. So here it is guys, the payments getaway. Now here normally, you will notice that there is authorize.net, there is some shoppay.com, there is some extra stuff in this page, but all you need to do is go to more options. So here into the payments, you will have to go to more options. So here you will have add payments methods, which is more options in general. So just click on it and that will take you to this other page, which you will be able to search and it's by provider and by card. So let's just wait for the page to load for us. It can be, take a little bit of time. Let me just refresh it. I don't know why it is so laggy this time, but yeah, it is what it is. So let's refresh it. And there we have it. So here we can search by payment methods and by provider. So let's try to search for Afterpay here. And there it is. Afterpay new. Here it is. Now all we need to do is simply click on activate and it should be activated. Now the next thing to do is to connect to our account on Afterpay. So here I'm just going to click on connect and the next thing they will redirect us to the Afterpay website. But first you have to install the app and inside the app itself we will be redirected. You will notice that in a few seconds. So here we are after I install the app. Let's give it a little bit of time and it will be perfectly done for you. So the adding of the Afterpay is not really that hard. The actually, the problem that you might face is with your store itself. But if you had already the store working well, everything activated, nothing work, nothing wrong with it, then everything will be perfect. So now let's go with setup test mode so we can just test it. Here, uh, enter your test credentials provided to, uh, to you by Afterpay in case you would like to just test it. And in case you had an account and you have already an account with them, etc., just log in. So for me now, I don't really have an account at the moment. So what I have to do is to go to Afterpay website. So there we have to open a new tab and search for Afterpay. And there, as you can see, choose a region and language below. So let's go with United States. And here we click on sign up. Then on this page, we are going to put our email address and then click on continue. The next thing is we have to put an American a number. Well, all you have to do is to get an American or USA number in case you would like to get this account ready to go. Now, this is very easy since you are already in US or something like that. For me, I can't really create an account since I'm not in one of these countries. Now, for what are the problems that you might face during the add-in of Afterpay to your Shopify store? First of all, for me, this is a US store, but how did I manage to do so? Well, in general, 
it is not really located in the US. Let me show you as an example. So when I try to actually create a store, so let me just go to all stores. And here I will create a store just by going to create store button, which is located in the top of the page. And I will just skip all. So the fact that I am located now in Morocco and then I will try to change it to the US, that doesn't mean that my business in, is in the US. It's just the region or the country that I'm going to focus on. So Shopify will not actually give you the payment gateways of US why, with you changing it from here. It has to be given to you from Shopify themselves directly. Well, how can we manage to do so? That's very easy. You just have to get a VPN provider, which is, of course, available in the whole internet. You can find something or you can just use this one, which is Ola VPN. Ola VPN is free extension on Google Chrome that you can install and they will give you 15 minutes per day to use it. And you can go through all of these countries for free for that 30 minutes. So this will allow you to have a fake IP on your store. They will manage to detect you as one of the US citizens and they will locate your store as a US store. From there, everything will be listed to you as a US store from these, the payments, getaways, the app that will be available, the taxes, everything will be given to you as a USA citizen. Well, make sure you guys that you add the payment and everything you need at that moment. Because the VPN one won't last for you forever. So once the VPN will turn off, they will refresh everything. And the stuff that you have already added to your store will be there. But other stuff that you will think of later on, they will not be able, you will not be able to add them later on. And it will be too late. So these are the things that you have to focus on, which are your IP address and the location of your store. Then everything can be perfectly easy for you. As I showed you before, make sure that you are in one of these countries that are accepted by Afterpay, which are like, uh, as you can see here, Australia, Canada, New Zealand, and the United States of America. Uh, I only accept these four for now. So if you're not sitting in one of these, you can simply just get a VPN. And you, of course, Afterpay, you have to get an Afterpay account to get it. You have to get a fake uh, phone number to get it verified etc so it is very much complicated if you're not in one of these countries and yeah with that being said guys that was it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it and i tried to make it as much as information for you guys and if you do have any more questions make sure to leave them down below in the comment section so that was it and see you guys in the next video